when you meet somebody at a party or an event, do you just trade business cards? No, because you have an iPhone or an Android phone, and we're going to see a Hashable, which is going to show us a new thing to do with people when you meet them. Who are you? Mike Yavenditti, the CEO of Hashable. We're a 14 person startup in New York City, and we're here uh, visiting uh, important people in Silicon Valley, uh, evangelizing the service. Okay. And what, what is the service? The service is, a, is a, a mobile first service that allows you to track relationships. All right, and explain how it works. Because it's, it's not like a business card. What, well, what do you do? It's, it's similar to Foursquare in a lot of ways. As Foursquare is to location, Hashable is to people. Okay. So when you meet a person, uh, you can say, I've run into this person, I've met this person, I've uh, just had a meeting with this person. Uh, it runs the gamut from breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, coffee, anything that a white collar professional might do with another person, Hashable gives you a chance to, to log that event. Now, just like with Foursquare and just like with Twitter before it and I am before it, my first reaction is that's sort of weird or lame. <laughs> <laughs> I could, all my friends said when I first started using Foursquare, that's lame. Yeah. Why would you check in on a place? And why would you check in on a person? It's a way of, uh, A, it's a way of keeping track. It's also a way of informing. There's a circle of people around you that are interested to know that you're meeting with me today. They may know you. They may know me. They may know both of us. And so I think for that that circle of people, I think they'll find it interesting. It's also f interesting for you to know not only that you're connected to someone, but to be able to look at uh, an entire history of, your, of a relationship with a person and, and glean things from it. It's, it's a better way to, to, to view a calendar, for instance. Uh, the other thing is when you check in with me, it might tell you uh, about previous people that have checked in with me that you know. Ah. And you might find that very interesting. I was at a cocktail party the, the other night and I, and I did a pound just met with someone, which is a feature that we pioneered, which is basically a virtual exchange of, of business card information. And this is a startup founder looking for money. I do a lot of angel investing. So I typed in his information, sent him my business card, put him into my address book, and up popped on my screen that uh, a gentleman named John Frankel had posted a phone call with him four days ago. John Frankel happens to be a partner of, of mine in a venture fund that I that I, I joined two months ago. Wow! So what the system told me, you know, surprising tidbit of information is that it told me that a partner of mine had actually crossed paths with that guy four days ago and was interested in investing potentially. Yeah. And when I showed it to him, he was blown away. We call that hash bits. Okay. Just a rift on hashable, obviously. And. Um... What, what can you do? So you just checked in on me. What, what, what I just did is I, not only did I, I log our first interaction, I've just started our relationship graph. So LinkedIn cares about who's connected to who. Yep. Hashable cares about real relationships. So we have, we've pioneered a concept called connection strength. So we look at the nature of the relationship. Am I just posting with you or are you just posting with me or is it bi-directional? Okay. And that starts to sift your entire world. And it, sift, it, it starts with an address book, but it also, we have a stream, we have a concept of a, a sort of a virtual currency. So I can start to look at my network by, by the, the strength of your credibility on the service, by uh, the strength of my relationship with a person. Okay. So I want to build my relationship graph with you uh, over time if you're someone I want to know. So do you tell me, do you tell the system what kind of interaction? Like yeah. right now we're having a business interaction, but if we go right. to the Ritz and start drinking beer, do you have then a it's pound beers. Pound beers. <laughs> Absolutely. And in, and in Now you got Rocky interested. <laughs> and, and one of my favorite tags is pound ran into. Yeah. Why? Because you're, you're always randomly running into people um, and it's fun to keep track of it. And uh, it's fun to tell a circle of people that you just ran into X, Y, or Z. And, um, and not only are you building your own address book, um, but you're building that person's address book too. So it's kind of like a, a social CRM. You hear that phrase a lot, but we're trying to make it fun to collect interesting information about you and, the, and your network. Now this works really great in a, in a big city like New York mm -hmm. or San Francisco, or if you're a professional networker like me where I get right. you know three or five people 
uh, in here, you know, going through my life. Right. Um, what about for somebody who's probably a coder, just sits in front of their computer all day long and maybe goes to a South by Southwest and that's it? Well, you know, it, it, you know you'll know, you see us in, at South by Southwest have a, a location layer. So it won't, it won't just be, hey, I ran into Robert Scoble, but I ran into him at this coffee shop or at South by Southwest. Um, you know, coders like to collect information about people also. This is a service that's aimed at any business person. Yeah. And are, are you going to be making hooks with Foursquare so I can only check in once? Because I'm, I'm getting tired of this check-in thing. You yeah, know, because you'll be able I'm to... having to check in on food spotting and Foursquare, then now I have right. trouble. Right. <laughs> I'm going right. to be checking in three or four times just when I have dinner with somebody. We're going to make it efficient for you. You're going to be able to say, I just ran into Mikey Avenditti, and it will also allow you to query Foursquare's places database, and you'll be able to pick the place. Also, so okay. it'll have and it'll have a page that memorializes the fact that you and I ran into each other or met. Uh, it'll have uh, probably integration with a map. It'll it also have our relationship graph. So let's say that it's the fourth time you and I met. That page will be sent to you and I upon the fifth meeting, and you and I will both be able to look at that and and look back in our history together. Yeah. And if and if we make it public, then everybody. That, that has access to that page will be able to see our relationship history. So yeah. we're taking it one step further than any network has tried to take it before. And that's, it's not a revolutionary idea, it's an evolutionary idea. There's no doubt in my mind that this is gonna happen. Uh, we wanna be the company that it happens with. Now I'm, I'm just about to go to three conferences, one of which is the World Economic Forum. And let's say I meet Henry Kissinger. He's not on Twitter, he's not on Facebook, he's not on They don't have to be on any of the services okay. to use Hashable. That's the that's the genius of the concept. But what if he doesn't care about being on it? But I want to say I I just met Henry Can you, he's, got, uh, he's got an email address and and uh, he won't give it to me. Well, then he, if he has a publicly available Twitter handle, you can essentially check in and say I just met Mr. Kissinger at his Twitter handle um, or his email address. You can check in via either unique identifier um, and register the fact that you met. And you can also just say it in free text. There's an annotation concept, and you can. You can sort of you can fudge it. Okay. Um, yeah. There's a way to there's a way to you could say I ch I just met Henry at at Davos or something. Right. Is there any way to attach pictures or other things uh, to this to this interaction we're the, having? The next uh, thing you can attach is location. Okay. Um, and uh, and then you know we've been thinking about other types of media form, but we're not we're not there yet. Yeah. Is certainly pictures. Uh, I love doing audio interviews when I meet somebody like that. Right. I've and thought then, about you know marrying the just met concept with a photo. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a party in Los Angeles on January 27th, a, a networking party, and we have uh, we've turned our hashtags into three dimensional uh, figures, okay. and so you can have a pound just met. You can hold it. You and I can stand next to it and get our picture taken. Um, so we're starting to we're starting to have fun uh, with the hashtags, um, but no no pictures yet. You know we're focused on getting mobile right, um, getting the privacy layer right because you know we started as a default public everything and the, and you know a fair number of people have said to us, hey we would like some you know some extra filtering here, yeah. and so you'll see us do something with privacy, um, create sort of a friends layer or a privacy layer. Um, mobile. Yeah, if, if a Rackspace executive is meeting with a startup over and over, that sort of signals, hey, they're maybe getting bought. So you want to sort of block that yeah. kind of. Yeah. So they, uh, so he may want to post that interaction just to a subset of people yeah. that he has control over, and we absolutely will support that. Okay. Um, what devices is this available on so far? Uh, officially, iPhone. Uh, I have a, a rogue copy for my Android. Okay. Uh, which will be ready in a few weeks. Okay. Uh, and then BlackBerry, and of course you can use it on the iPad as well. Yeah. And how do you guys make money with this? Well, every time you use the service, you generate a very small number of what we call hash cred, which is kind of like our virtual currency. And one of the things that we've been toying with, and, and it's, not, it's certainly not baked yet, is using that hash cred. If you accrue it by organically using the service a lot, you can do things like ask for someone's contact information or that sort of thing. And if you don't have hash cred, perhaps you'll buy some. Yeah. And so that's kind of what we're looking at right now. But it's also, you know, a great way. I think a great place to recruit 
Um, it's a great place for recruiters to troll and venture capitalists to look for founders that they hadn't heard of before. And so I think a lot of those opportunities will will open up for us as we gain critical mass. Okay. Um, are you doing anything special at South by Southwest? Sure. I expect We're, this will be pretty fun to use. With I think so. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to see who's meeting with who and where they're meeting. And you'll be able to see... You know, it's a VC meeting with a founder. I mean, and yeah, what we're doing is we're sending our top 10 users from around the country, uh, all expenses paid to South by Southwest to be evangelists for our service. And we're making them essentially part of, part of the fabric of the game of the, of the system. Every time you interact with, those, with one of those 10 people, you'll gain extra status on the service. Um, and, and yeah, it's a fun, it, look, it's a fun product to use. It's, I think the more you understand how to use it, the more you actually will use it. Okay. Um, there's a lot of utility, um, but it takes some getting used to. Okay. How, how, what is the infrastructure? How's the company built? How's the technology built? I mean, it's, uh, you know, we built everything uh, ourselves. Um, we actually started building um, a different service, which I won't get into, uh, about two years ago. And we ended up building our own data center. Um, which seems antiquated today, uh, and so we're in the process of moving to the cloud. Um, haven't haven't uh, haven't done that yet, but are, are are putting the building blocks in place to do that. How are you going to choose um, a vendor? Uh, we're we're looking right now, and I know you're affiliated with one. I'm happy to <laughs> happy to talk happy to talk to I you know about some it. People at Rackstar, so as long as they have as long as they have a good SLA, we're interested. Yeah. Um, but you know we're you know a lot of the guys and gals that work for me have been have worked at you know, very successful companies in the past, Yahoo, Hot Jobs. You know, I was previously the CEO of a company called Quigo, uh, which sold to AOL in, in 2007. Um, and so a lot of the folks that work there are, are people that have worked at these organizations before. So they're, they're used to building hardcore technology. You know, Quigo was a competitor to AdSense, a credible competitor. And that meant, that means that you had to build pretty serious technology to do that. You know, we were serving billions of ads a month. And so it's the same team. Can we do fake check-ins? You know, because if I know your tag, I probably could check and say, uh, "Oh, I met him even without meeting you." Right? You can do that. Um, we think it's weird yeah. uh, for people to do that, um, but I think the more uh, status you have, say on Twitter, uh, the more sort of fake references you're going to get. Um, someone like you is going to get introduced to people that you don't know. Um, but you know, we take that kind of stuff seriously. We don't want that to happen. Uh, but it does happen on occasion, and we put you know policies in place to try to try to eradicate it. And if we see people doing it excessively, we, we shut them down. Okay. Um, so we don't want any of that crap. Uh, but you know, Twitter's public, and so you know if you're out there with a public Twitter handle, you know as you know anything can come your way. Yeah. And what's your Twitter handle then? Uh, at Mike Yavo. Okay. And uh, I'm. Be happy to have you check in with me. Excellent. And uh, where do we find Hashable on the web? Hashable.com. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to, you know, get into the server right now, the website's still in private beta, okay. but your key into the system is by downloading the iPhone app. Okay. And you guys are on Twitter and Facebook as well. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for coming out and showing it to me. I'm I'm real excited to try it at South by Southwest because I think it'll be one of those. Pound things. just met will send a person your business card. Okay. Um, and you can go to the site and fill in the business card the way you want it to be filled in. It'll have your LinkedIn profile, your blog uh, URL, your Hashable profile, your you know a lot of other social media profiles. Very cool. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thanks.